Brian and Quinn Barrett are suing Karen Bowdish for damaging the home she sold them during a rent-back period. Let me see if I understand the facts of this case. Mr. and Mrs. Barrett, you purchased a house from Miss Bowdish. That's correct, Your Honor. And you were nice enough when you purchased the house to give her a lease back for a short period of time for her to move. I think it was 10 days. So that was nice of you because, you know, you do an inspection on a house, you look at it right before you close to make sure everything is nice and broom clean and you let her stay. She looked like a nice lady. Yes. Well, when she moved out, her moving company caused some damage to the house. That's correct. She no longer owned the house. You sent her a letter indicating what the damages were, correct? Correct. And what did you say the damage was? Oh, this, to the siding and to the foundation. Did he send you a letter? He did send me a letter, yes. Do you have a copy of that letter? Yes, I do. I'd like to look at it. We're only dealing with siding repair. The siding repair, not dog waste removal or foundation repair. We're talking about $600 that the moving company... Let me tell you something. This is not about dog waste removal. Correct. This is not about something that your inspector may have missed. This is about siding removal. So let me tell you, that I don't want to feel as if I'm dealing with two scammers. I know I'm dealing with one. Do you understand? I understand, Your Honor. Great. So if she was a pig and let her dog defecate in the backyard and then didn't clean it up when she moved out, that makes her a scammer and a pig. Yes, Your Honor. Because this is what happened. You settled with your moving company for damage to the house for $1,000, and you kept the check. I offered. No. You settled with the moving company for the damage that they caused to their house for $1,000, and you kept the check. Mm. What do you mean? Mm. That's what you did. That's what you said in your answer you did. You said, if I'm a smarter businesswoman and can settle with them for more money, then that, that extra $400 belongs to me. Uh, actually, it was to compensate me for the, uh, the turmoil of this You issue. are so full of it. It's not, no. Not Absolutely. <laughs> That's exactly what you uh, are. After I, That's no. exactly what you are. Could you I, scammed the insurance company out of $1,000 and then you didn't give the owners of the house the check. Now, are they entitled to the check? The whole check? Maybe not. Did you pay to have the waste picked up in the backyard? Uh, no. No. Now, did you have some escrow money? We have money in escrow, Your Honor. No, I have money in escrow. <laughs> uh, no. I understand it's your money. Is it still there? Yes. It is, ma'am. Great. Yeah. There was additional damage that her son hit the side of the house, which is separate from the moving company. Uh. <laughs> we have a text message from we have information of that. saying that her son hit the house that we weren't aware of that she told us after the fact. And that's what that estimate is actually for. For what? For the damage that her son did to our house. I'm not redoing your closing. Do you understand? How much money is in escrow? Fifteen hundred, Your Honor. She already cashed the check for a thousand. That she's going to give back to you, and I would suggest you get the other fifteen hundred from the escrow. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of a thousand dollars. We're done.